Here are some other headlines we're following for you tonight. We're going to begin in Atlanta, where parents have a lot of questions as a school is preparing to close its doors. Thomasville Heights Elementary is closing because a majority of its students are being relocated from the rundown Forest Cove apartments. About 60 students are headed to Slater Elementary. Parents have expressed frustrations over the turnaround process and what they feel is a lack of communication. The group, which manages Thomasville Heights and three other Atlanta schools, tell 11 Alive it could take up to a decade to get the schools back on track. Stacey Abrams has qualified to run for governor. She's the first Democrat in the state to do so, with none declaring a challenge. This is her second time running for governor. She narrowly lost to Governor Brian Kemp in 2018. Republican frontrunners Governor Brian Kemp and David Perdue are both expected to qualify in the next two days for the GOP primary. Right now, a local high school coach says that he's facing discipline for defending himself from a student who brought a gun to school. Tri-Cities High School coach Kenneth Miller was with police as they confronted the student. They didn't know if the student had a gun on her. He says when they were talking to her, she became aggressive and hit him with a stapler. So he restrained her until police could take control. Miller's lawyer says the student was arrested and Miller was fired. Later, the district changed Miller's punishment to a suspension. We're told the move from a termination to a suspension creates a barrier to Miller presenting his case and clearing his name. Fulton County Schools sent a statement saying that they can't talk about the case until it's resolved.